This is Echo 3, and let's continue discussing our modded career mode playthrough. We left off last time picking two contracts. We have one to barnstorm the island airfield hangars, and another to fly above 2,500 meters. We should be able to complete both of these contracts in the same flight. So far, I'm a fan of these additional contracts and the Giving Aircraft a Purpose mod. Flying through the hangars should make for a bit more exciting mission than the generic survey missions. If you see anything that looks particularly interesting, please leave a comment and share ideas. I'm having fun flying, but if you want to feel a part of this series, please leave your ideas. So far, we have a few aircraft designs, but I would like to modify and improve upon our first plane for this mission. We've unlocked some more parts that I think will help us. We can start by stripping off the older parts, like this vertical stabilizer, and we can put a proper one on with a rudder. I think we should add that, and we should also make the ends of the main wings look nicer. We've got these main wing connector tips to do that. And the smaller control surfaces look better with the size of this plane, so I'll be using them. I'm using the mod RCS Build Aid that is able to show the dry center of mass with the red and black ball. This is very helpful as we try to balance the center of mass and the center of aerodynamic pressure. It also lets us see how the mass will shift as the fuel is used. We should try to keep the center of mass from shifting too much so we can keep our fuel balanced there. This is not going to be a science focused mission, so we only need to risk one Kerbal on this crazy endeavor. And we can get rid of that second seat. All right. Let us set. Now, Jeb, you know we typically don't ask you to do insane stunts with the expensive equipment. Today's mission is an insane stunt with the equipment. We need you to push this plane higher than it's ever flown, then fly through both of the hangars over the island. No, Jeb, I've not been drinking any mystery goo. This is a real mission. I did not think it would be possible to leave Jeb speechless, but we did it. Fortunately for us, Jeb is a natural pilot with no fear. Look at that. Perfect flying, Jeb. You're all clear to return. For this return flight, we can test out the stability of this plane by turning off the SAS and just using the trim functions. Overall, this seems like a pretty good plane. After recovering the craft, we can go back to mission control and pick up a couple more contracts. Eventually, we should try to take the contract to fly some orbital. But I think we're gonna need a little bit more technology in order to pull that off. I don't think we have a craft capable of that right now. What we can do are pick a couple flight testing contracts. We have one to fly up to 5,000 meters. That's 16,400 feet for the Americans. And there's another contract to fly over 100 meters per second. That's a little over 220 miles per hour. These are both very doable. Do note that in the speed contract, we do need to fly basically level between 2,500 and 5,000 meters. So it's always important to look at the details when you're picking contracts. Back in the hangar, let's experiment with a new design. We should try building something bigger. Eventually, we will need to do more complex missions, so we should try experimenting with more capable crafts. The building process is still similar. We can try for a twin engine design, though, this time. These thin wings should provide ample lift for the craft this small. We can also try making use of the control surfaces, and maybe we can use something like trailing edge flaps to aid in takeoff and landing. Me we might want to use this design for future science missions so we can look at adding some experiments on this craft too. Again, you'll see that I'm using the RCS build aid. I'm trying to keep the craft balanced as I'm building it. In this case, I've got, these are gonna be our trailing edge flaps. I won't give them any control authority, so I will be able to right click on them and have them deploy and in that case they'll kind of act like flaps they'll also help slow the plane down a little bit quite useful put on the landing gear i want them a little bit behind the center of mass usually right around where the center of aerodynamic pressure is it just helps keep the craft stable balanced but i want more weight on those back wheels than on the front just tweak a few things here we'll add some science experiments we might want to use this later for something, so we will save it and maybe it'll be a useful design. This plane should be good to go. 
We don't have access to action groups yet, so we cannot fly entirely in IVA. We will have to click on the flaps to activate them that way. Perhaps with our budget, we should start upgrading our facilities so we can have nicer things like the ability to do EVA reports and action groups and maybe go all out and unlock maneuver nodes too. All right, this plane easily did its mission. With our flight test complete, we can grab a couple more contracts. So we'll go back to the um, mission control here. And what do we got? Here is one to fly seven passengers between the Space Center and the Island Airfield. That should be interesting, given the few parts we have available. And we should try to do another mission. There is a contract here to take a crew report just west of the Space Center. We can fulfill both of these contracts in a single flight. The reason I know where this contract is for the crew report is I looked it up with the tracking center and I looked that way. So I, I know you didn't see that in the video, but I checked it out before I accepted the mission because I don't want to get a mission for halfway across the planet right now. We'll design our passenger plane. I like the twin engine design, but let's see what we can modify here. The cockpit I'm putting on can hold two Kerbals. So that means we need three passenger section and one pilot and then one other passenger can sit up front and that'll give us our seven Kerbals. And then we'll start throwing these parts back on again. See what we can come up with, move these wings around. I kind of like what I'm seeing with this. Just have to play with our center of mass, try to keep this stable. We can put these engines out here, and then we can actually maybe put the gear uh, all the way out there and make a really stable design. This one's going to have passengers on it. It's going to be more than just Jeb. So I'd like it to actually be a, a safe plane this time. You know, the way these gear look, it's just, I'm not sure I'm going to make this work right. Maybe we can try a design where we put the landing gear in the back. This is kind of a conventional design as opposed to the tricycle design that we've been using. I think that'll make a pretty stable craft. We might want to use this for future contracts. Oh, we are one part over the limit. Let's just remove a couple flaps. That'll be good. All right, load the passengers, set the island as our destination, turn on SAS, turn on the engines, throttle up, disengage the brakes. Let's take these passengers over and make some fun. The plane actually seems very easy to fly and to handle. I'm actually uh, very happy with the way this one's turned out. It also looks like it's pretty easy to land. Now, once we stop, we just need to wait for the all clear from the tower, and then we'll be able to take off again. We will set the crew report location as our next target and do that before we return back to the Kerbal Space Center. This was honestly a pretty easy mission. And this plane, I can fly it also without SAS. It, it seems just really stable and easy. We'll just zip over here to this location. I think this crew report will unlock us some more science as well. So that'll be useful. And then we just head back to the Space Center. Take it easy. This is in times eight speed, so in, in real life it definitely took longer than this to fly. Yeah, I, I really like this plane. Once we land, we'll go back to the research and development building and spend some of our science points. If we get general rocketry, we can probably build a craft capable of reaching the Kármán line. Being that this is an air and space program, we should probably attempt to actually reach space. And, you know, if you like this video, why don't you leave a comment telling me what you think. Go ahead and like this video as well. I know you want to. You know, this is Echo 3. Thanks for joining me for a modded career save. I will see you next time.